It's not the first time I have to talk about this, but seeing this occur more than it should be, in other words, it should never happen, yet it does, this is a dedicated video explaining the differences between inspiration and plagiarism, with the main focus being gacha OCs. I hope it'll serve you as a guide if you want to change your OC without the risk of being accused of plagiarism. Hello everyone, Flo here, let's get started. For this video, we will mention being inspired and plagiarism a lot. So allow me to define what those two terms mean. Being inspired by something or someone is that they give you new ideas to make something new on your own without having too much similarities with the base you got inspired from. You can be inspired by a pose to create new art or be inspired by a song to make a new OC, for example. When inspired, Telling or crediting where the idea came from is important. Plagiarism, on the other hand, is sharing too much similarities with the original you base yourself on, and claiming the copy as your own original idea when someone obviously made it before you. People can see the similarities if too visible. Now that we know which is which, allow me to show you a few examples, let you guess, and then tell you which is what and why. Here we have our first scenario. Those are two OCs, two made with different dates. Both were made with, by different creators and claims themselves to be the original. With the information given, is the latest OC inspired or is a copy of the older OC? Here we have a plagiarism situation. Have you found all the similarities? There are a lot that this can't even be called an inspiration anymore. Hopefully both will sort this out. Another example I'll take with two OCs. What do you think the answer will be here? Inspired or plagiarized? This time this is inspiration. Both characters are obviously robots. But while Alexa is my OC based on Alexa, Nyx is a reiteration of Alexa by one of my teammates last year, in order to be less based on the existing Amazon bot. Third and last example. This is Wooly from Amanda the Adventurer. This is a redesign of Wooly. And this is another redesign of Wooly made by someone else. Chronologically speaking, which redesign is inspired from its previous iteration and which redesign is actually copied. The art redesign of Wooly is indeed an original concept. However, I wouldn't say the same about the Gacha OC. You can see the many similarities between the art version and the Gacha version, as if they were almost intentional. No credits were found, and the way this was announced seemed like they claimed it as original. Remember, crediting is important, especially if you remake an existing design in Gacha. This video is for educational purposes only. If you stumble upon the creators who made the examples here, please do not overwhelm them with your presence. Everyone can learn, and making mistakes like those can help improve in the future. That'll be all for today. Take care and have a nice day or night. Bye everyone!